Hi, my name is Maria. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today we are going to be doing the Corin tag, a tag created by Adobs, one of my favorite YouTubers. And uh, yeah, let's get into the video. So the first question is, uh, how are you attempting to maintain sanity? Um, I'm just trying to keep a relatively normal schedule. The truth is nothing really changes for me that much besides that uni is online. I wouldn't have been able to play or do much squash anyway because I'm an ACL surgery reconstruction. So uh, most of the things I'm doing now I would have probably be doing anyway regardless of COVID-19. Um, but I'm still, I'm just trying to do the things I love. I finally have time to paint, to learn to draw, to learn Korean, to just do all the creative stuff that I never have time for. And um, yeah. Number two, are you quarantined with anyone? Uh, yes, I'm quarantined with my family, um, my mum, my stepdad, my grandma. Sometimes get under each other's skin just because we do have like class, uh, clashing, I guess, views in life. Yeah, we just have different opinions and when they come out, it can sometimes start an argument. Question three is, show and tell, show off anything and everything you've made, accomplished during quarantine. So I've done some rock painting, done, I kind of use Procreate to create uh, just um, simple edits. I did a Bob Ross painting the other day and I sucked at it. No, no, I started writing a book today, I wrote one page, which is a start. I wrote, I wrote an essay that was really good actually, I'm really proud of it. It was the best writing I've ever done. Uh, the conclusion was a little bit meh, but everything else was perfect, so that's a big accomplishment, I'd like to say. Uh, question four is, the last thing you purchased? I purchased a MacBook Air keyboard cover for my new MacBook Air, obviously. Okay. Number five is favorite quarantine meme. Honestly, I feel like it's all, it's on TikTok. It's, it's basically any uh, like TikTok saying how uh, Sheldon from the Big Bang Theory is like the most relatable character right now <laughs> because we're all kind of going crazy and then like, you know, we've all kind of become germaphobes like Sheldon and I think it's, it's really relatable and on point. Question six is, uh, last person you texted? I think the last text I sent was like a TikTok to my friends. So we have a group chat. There's three of us, but it's a group chat. <laughs> uh, number eight is, uh, who was the last person you video called with? My dad is the last person I video called with. Nine is, uh, what are you most excited to do when it is all over? Depends when it ends. If it ends before I can go back to squash, nothing changes for me. The only thing that changes is that I can honestly nothing. Uh, but if it ends after I'm ready to get back into squash, or like it's squash, going to McDonald's, it's basically squash, honestly. <laughs> so, and being able to uh, watch sports again, like like go to the AFL, can watch netball. You know, it can watch, not the A-League, uh, watch sports again, you know, something I miss terribly. Uh, question 10, do you have any quarantine goals? We, my goal is just to be as productive as I can. Uh, I do have a habit of overloading, um, so I guess, you know, it's to stay productive, but not too productive that I run myself down, which I normally do. So number 11 is most consumed snack or food has to be a pierogi or German sausages. Pierogi is a Polish dumpling, if you don't know. And you know, German sausage is a Ukraine skit, so. Okay, so number 12 is last picture on your camera roll. It's probably a screenshot, because I screenshot a lot. It's a writing prompt. I see a writing prompt. That's not. Question 13 is what substances are you using and or abusing? Just coffee, as always. 
a lot of caffeine. Question 14 is what is your average screen time? And the answer to that is, I have no idea. It's 11 hours per day. Uh, that's mainly because when I go to sleep, I do like listen to music or put YouTube on and I leave the screen open all night long, which is probably not good, honestly. But uh, that's, that's one of the reasons why it's so high. But other than that, I do spend a lot of time on Netflix uh, and YouTube. Number 15 is what are your most used apps or websites? So we have TikTok, uh, YouTube, what was it called? I just said it a minute ago. Netflix, Instagram, that's about it honestly. And there's Anime Lab too. These are the main apps that I've been using. The thing is uh, share your best TikTok dance. And because of my knee, I can't do certain movements. Um, especially with my hips because it, it does affect my knee. Number 17 is the last song I've listened to. So the last song I listened to is Bumbaya by Blackpink. I've been getting into Korean pop lately. Um, I've always liked Korean dramas for the past few years. And I kind of just got into the Korean music industry. So I'm really loving it. I just love the presentation that they bring to the stage and I think it's amazing. Number 18 is Last Smooch. Yeah. Number 19 is What has been the worst part of quarantine? Honestly, I don't have a lot to complain about. Um, I'm getting time to do what I want to do. I've started writing a book, which I've always wanted to do. I've started an online store, which I've always wanted to do. Um, I'm getting more money from the government Basically getting paid to stay home, which is an introvert's dream Don't have a lot to complain about Question 20, what has been the best part about quarantine? I guess I just answered it in the last question You know, everything's been going right for me so far Nothing to complain about, honestly 21 is best movie or TV show you've watched recently? I have been watching a Korean drama. I can't remember the names. So I have been watching Weightlifting Fairy Kim Bok Jo. It's, it's, been, it's amazing. Question 22 is what is the last game you played? The last game I've played is the um, what are the things you want to search for? It's a bit like Google Food or like Google Autocomplete. You have to guess the number one search. So there's instructions but I play by my own rules. I play differently. The prompt is, is it strange to dot 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 and then you have the following searches, death, so soon, talk to yourself, have no friends, da da da. So you have to guess that. It's a bit like Google food, uh, just in card form. Question 23 is, what is the meaning of life? Uh, being able to do things that you love, honestly, and having the privilege to do those things and having the privilege to have a dream and being able to do the thing you love as a career, honestly, because I feel like if you if you have a job is something that you hate, it's definitely gonna feel like work and a lot less like fun. Question twenty four is: uh, If you could go anywhere right now, where would you go? If I had to travel anywhere outside of Australia, I feel like it would be maybe. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, so I can watch Pittsburgh Penguins by ice hockey team. I wanted to. Go, my goal was when I was younger to go to Russia, being able to speak Russian, and I can't do that. So the dream of going to Russia has died down a bit. Uh, I'd like to go to Korea, and I'd like to go to Canada as well. Canada seems pretty cool. Question twenty five is. Last Google search is, yeah, you know, I Google searched why so many like K pop idols decide to uh, bless up, and it's kind of boring. And I feel like um, something needs to be done to stop that because it's obviously another coincidence. 
there's something happening in the background that we don't know of and it needs to be fixed. Number 26 is the last event you attended would have to be... So I was meant to go to Little Mix concert in December but they cancelled it. And then I think it was a squash expedition was the last event I attended. I don't go to too many events because I'm so busy all the time. It had to be a squash expedition. Question 27 is, what do you miss the most about life before the pandemic hit? You know, so uh, nothing much changes for me. I still would have missed playing squash, being able to train, being able to help coach. Um, yeah, a lot of, yeah. I wouldn't be able to do those things anyway with my injury, so I'm not a lot changed, but yeah. I guess I'm looking forward to get back to that when this pandemic and I recover from this injury. Number 28 is what is something you've tried or done during this time? Learning Korean, painting, drawing, writing, um just basically all the things that I've never had time to do, I'm doing them right now. Number 29 is, are you reading anything good? And the answer to that is yes. Um, I've joined a book club online um, on Discord and one of the books that we read was Burn Cryer's Mood and it's such a great book. I highly recommend it. It gets you, it really captures you into the um, into the story. There is a part two to the book that's not out yet, but um, it so does end on a cliffhanger and it's just like, I wish the second book was out already. Number 30 is, uh, what are you grateful for today? Is the fact that basically I am doing so well. Um, I've kind of come out lucky with this quarantine, just with the fact that like, I don't really have to worry about loss of job. Uh, I don't have to worry about money. Like, everything really came together for me when quarantine happened, so I'm kind of grateful for that. Number 31 is, uh, what is the last place you've gone that isn't home? I had to, so the last place I've been to that wasn't home is the doctors. I had to get an ultrasound on my shoulder because my shoulder started to hurt and I think three years ago I had the status in that same shoulder uh, so it was a bit of a concern yeah so we think it could be tendonitis but we have to check to see if it to make sure that it's not a rotator cuff number 32 is uh, what is something new you've learned during quarantine again Korean I'm sorry most of this video is uh, very repetitive but yeah, Korean is something, I guess it's not new, but I'm learning like, like I, I, le I, I started to learn Korean last year, but I've really got, I've really been able to crack down on it and I guess learn new, like, I guess just, I guess I've been able to learn more Korean words and um, I'm kind of slowly learning how to read uh, Korean too, which has been great. I'm slowly identifying each letter and how to pronounce it and I still can't read but I can read like like some words but not all words. Number 33 is the last YouTube video you watched and actually my last YouTube video I watched was pretty sad. I really don't want to uh, share it. It's kind of depressing so I'll just leave that be. Number 34 uh show your OOTD Showing a Guns N' Roses t-shirt with just navy blue shorts, honestly. Low effort, as always, that hasn't changed uh, before or after. I've always been low effort, so just living my natural life. Uh, number 35 is pluck a charity or course that's important to you uh, at the moment. It is World Health Organization, because I feel like everyone needs the help they can get. Uh, but other than that, it is mental health. Uh, charities because I feel like mental health is such a bad stigma towards it and not everyone is educated on it and I feel like everyone should be so and I think that's really important number 36 is most absurd ridiculous thing you've done during quarantine 
I don't have anything. Out of the ordinary, I've done, honestly. I'm doing ordinary things. Number 37 is what does your last phone note say? It's, yeah, my, my last note on my phone is just a link to, I think, our homework. Yeah, to, to that essay that I did, that good essay that I did. Uh, number 38, fear. I have a fear of the dark. That's why I have lights. I have fairy lights so I can put them on at night so my room isn't completely dark because I don't know why, honestly. Uh, number 39, a wish. I guess that everyone's staying healthy and staying at home and that, you know, hopefully this blows over in a few months or something like that. And my last question is, uh, have you or anyone you know been sick? And the answer is no. I get hay fever. That's the only thing, like everyone in my house gets hay fever. Like that's the only sickness, I guess. Well, it's more of an allergy, but that's like the only symptoms we've been showing is hay fever symptoms. Uh, but yeah, other than that, we've been pretty good, so. No illnesses, which has been pretty good, and everyone has been healthy. Thank you for watching my video. Um, I will put down in the description below all the questions so you can do them yourself. Um, I will leave my social medias and Patreon down below. Give us a thumbs up, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video.